Welcome back to Iraqi Dinar News. In today's video, we will be discussing a vital topic for all currency traders and investors, especially those dealing with the Iraqi Dinar, how to save big on taxes. Taxes can eat into your profits if not properly managed, and understanding the tax implications around currency trading is crucial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's dive into today's important topic, how to protect your hard-earned gains from excessive tax burdens and maximize your profits. Understanding Taxation in Currency Trading The taxation of currency trading, including trading the Iraqi dinar, is often misunderstood. One of the biggest mistakes traders make is underestimating how much taxes can cut into their profits. Taxes on currency trades are treated as capital gains in most countries, including the US, and the tax you pay on your gains depends largely on how long you hold onto the currency before selling it. Let's break it down into two categories, short-term capital gains and long-term capital gains. If you hold a currency like the Iraqi dinar for less than a year and then sell it at a profit, your earnings will be classified as short-term capital gains. These gains are taxed as ordinary income, which means that they will be taxed at the same rate as your regular income, potentially as high as 40% depending on your total income. Now, that's a huge chunk of your profit. But there's a way to minimize this. By holding your currency for longer than a year, you qualify for long-term capital gains. Long-term capital gains are taxed at a much lower rate, usually between 0% and 20%. This incentivizes traders to hold on to their assets for longer, reducing their tax burden significantly. As an Iraqi dinar holder, this is one of the smartest strategies you can use to save big on taxes. Importance of documentation and record keeping. Another critical point for every currency trader to understand is the importance of keeping detailed records. The tax authorities will need documentation that proves how long you've held your currency and the price at which you purchased it, also called the basis. Without this, you may face higher taxes or penalties. For example, if you purchased Iraqi dinar at one price and sold it at a higher price, the difference is your capital gain. But if you don't have proper documentation to prove the purchase price and the sale price, you could end up paying taxes on the full amount, not just the gain. This is where receipts, trade confirmations, and account statements come into play. Ensure that you have accurate records of every trade, including the date of purchase, the amount bought, and the price paid. This will be essential when tax season rolls around. Most reputable exchanges will provide these records, but it's always a good idea to double-check that you have everything you need. Strategic tax planning, timing is key. When it comes to minimizing taxes on your Iraqi dinar investments, timing is everything. Market conditions fluctuate, and it's easy to get tempted to sell your holdings for quick, short-term profits. However, this could cost you dearly in taxes. Imagine you sell your dinar holdings today after holding them for six months. Your profits are considered short-term capital gains, which are taxed at your ordinary income tax rate. If you're in a high tax bracket, this could mean paying up to 40% in taxes. But if you held onto the dinar for another six months, you would only pay the long-term capital gains tax rate, which could be as low as 15%. This difference in tax rates can have a significant impact on your overall profits. For example, if you made a $10,000 profit, paying 40% in taxes would leave you with only $6,000. However, if you qualify for the long-term capital gains rate of 15%, you would keep $8,500. That's a massive difference of $2,500. So, if you're thinking about selling your dinar, consider your timing carefully. Ask yourself if you can afford to wait long enough to qualify for the lower tax rates. Tax considerations for large transactions. If you're planning to exchange a large amount of Iraqi dinar, you'll want to be even more cautious about how taxes could affect your profits. Large transactions often push you into a higher tax bracket, meaning you could face an even steeper tax rate if you don't plan carefully. For example, if you're selling a large amount of Iraqi dinar and your gains push your total taxable income into a higher bracket, you could end up paying significantly more in taxes than you would have if you sold smaller amounts over a longer period. This is where working with a tax advisor can be a big help. They can guide you on how to stagger your transactions and avoid unnecessary tax burdens. Additionally, currency exchange rates can also play a role. Timing your exchanges when the rates are favorable can help you maximize your profits and minimize your tax liabilities. This is why it's important to keep an eye on market trends and seek professional advice to help you optimize your strategy. Avoiding common pitfalls. There are several common mistakes that currency traders make when it comes to taxes. One of the biggest pitfalls is failing to report all trades. 
Even if you don't make a profit, you are still required to report your transactions to the tax authorities. Failing to do so can result in penalties and interest charges that will eat into your profits. Another common mistake is underestimating the importance of accurate record keeping. As mentioned earlier, keeping track of your trades and having proper documentation is critical to reducing your tax liabilities. Without accurate records, you could end up paying far more in taxes than necessary, or worse, facing penalties for underreporting. Finally, many traders neglect to take into account the potential for tax audits. Currency trading is a complex area of tax law, and the IRS or your local tax authority may scrutinize your records closely. Being well prepared with accurate documentation can help you avoid headaches down the road. Maximizing your profits through tax planning. At the end of the day, strategic tax planning is one of the most powerful tools you have as a currency trader. By understanding the difference between short-term and long-term capital gains, keeping detailed records, and timing your trades carefully, you can save a significant amount of money on taxes and maximize your profits. If you're serious about trading the Iraqi dinar or any other currency, consider working with a financial advisor or tax professional who specializes in currency trading. They can help you develop a tax strategy that works for your individual situation and ensure that you're taking advantage of all available tax breaks. In conclusion, currency trading, especially with assets like the Iraqi dinar, can be a profitable venture if done correctly. However, the potential for high tax liabilities is something every trader needs to be aware of. By holding your assets for the long term, keeping meticulous records, and timing your trades strategically, you can save big on taxes and enjoy more of your hard-earned profits. Thanks for tuning into Iraqi Dinar News. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video with others who might benefit from these tips. Stay informed, stay strategic, and we'll see you in the next video.